Hi guys, welcome to Exotic Diaries. Um, today I'm going to do a rehouse again. I'm rehousing Alex. Uh, he or she is a Mexican red rum uh, or tilted cattle uh, for guns. And uh, this little guy can still go for a molt or two in this enclosure, but um, I like to, to rehouse them as soon as they um, are ready to be rehoused into a bigger enclosure. Um, it just feels more fair to me. Um, I try to keep them, keep them uh, for not too long in a, in a small enclosure, um, just to give them a bit of space. Uh, so yeah, this enclosure is about mm, mm, about five times, yeah, about five times the size of uh, of the spider. So so it's still big enough, but yeah, as I said. Uh, I like to move them as soon as I can. Just wanted to show you, it's a very rainy day today. Uh, it's been pouring for three days straight now. So, yeah, as you know, South Africa can be quite, um, quite droughtful. So, uh, this is very good for us, uh, enjoying the rain. So, as I said, um, I did do an earlier video um, of rehousing the Tolta cattle um, alvopilosis and um, yeah so I'm just gonna do the same that I did there you'll uh, get the instructions for the mixture of the substrate there and uh, then you'll also see what I'm gonna uh, do now step for step I, I explain it so, um, just like this. Making ventilation holes is very important so your spider can breathe and also for evaporation of excess moisture because moisture can be very dangerous for your spider and they can die and uh, very important so you have uh, ventilation holes for your spider to breathe and for the excess moisture to escape I already did make um, I already did make holes in this uh, lid for them I don't want too many holes um, so not too much moisture must escape uh, that's also important <laughs> so next I'm gonna Put in the substrate. So this is just a mixture of uh, topsoil, peat moss, and uh, vermiculite that absorbs the feces and uh, prevents mold. Just want to put in a re real good amount but not too much substrate because it's actually a terrestrial species as I'm not providing hides I just want enough for them to dig they'll usually just like pile uh, the 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 substrate they dig out into one corner so then they'll make their hide um their barrel underneath and uh 
this should be enough I might just put in a little bit more and that should do it to do it okay next I'm gonna put in its water dish so spiders can go for food with without food uh, excuse me for like maybe a week or a week and a half especially when they're still young um, but it must have moisture and water um, if you feed it more often uh, it gets its well if it doesn't re refuse its food um, and it feeds often then um, you don't have to put in so much excuse me this fly <laughs> um, yeah but uh, you must always make sure that it has some kind of water form um, either you spray the lid like this um, or the side of your your enclosure I'm just gonna dampen the the substrate um, and then also put some water in the water dish And then we're ready for the rehouse. Next, Alex is going to go into its new house. Oh yeah. Always remember to have a catch cup ready. So if the spider escapes, then um, you're ready for it. And you can safely catch it. Alex is ready for his new house. Come on, Alex. They can sometimes be stubborn to leave the old enclosures as it's their territory. And uh, just takes a bit of effort. Here we go. I'm just going to turn it like this so you can see. There's Alex sitting comfortably in his new house. As easy as that, guys. Now I must. Alex is in his new house, as you can see gonna be happy and uh, I'm sure he's gonna enjoy his new enclosure well guys um, if you enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe um, and thank you for the support and uh, I apologize for the uh, poor sound quality as I'm filming with my phone and uh, hope surely that will uh, change soon and uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye.